What I love about number five is that he's an old guy in a young boy's body. What? I probably need to start wording that better, but I don't think that anyone can deny that Aidan Gallagher completely nails the complexities of the time travelling character. But what are his hopes? His dreams? Well, throughout this video, we're going to be giving you the lowdown on five, including his backstory and powers. Obviously, there will be heavy spoilers here, so if you haven't had a chance to check out both seasons of The Umbrella Academy, then I highly recommend that you turn off now. We'll also be talking about some spoilers in the comics too, such as his time at the Temps, and also a twist that hasn't been revealed yet, but I will give you a heads up just before we get into that. Anyway, with that out of the way, this is the Heavy Spoilers Show. I'm your host Definition, aka YouTube's number two. Now let's get into the breakdown. Okay, so Five was born on October 1st, 1989. In Umbrella Academy lore, this is a special day as it signals the arrival of 43 children, all blessed with amazing abilities. Five is no exception to this, and the character is able to dissolve and reform his own matter at will. This gives him the ability to not only teleport, but it also allows him to move backwards and forwards through time. Five can sometimes use this on those around him, and because of his powers, he was able to journey back to the 60s with the rest of his family. He also at one point switched out a criminal's gun with a stapler, showing that he may possess the ability to move objects too, though he rarely uses this. Because Five is actually 58, he's managed to pick up a wealth of skills over his lifetime, and these have moulded him into a master combatant. Five is a skilled assassin that uses his knowledge of warfare to easily dispatch his foes, and because of this, he's not someone that you want to trifle with. So basically, to sum it up, Five is Nightcrawler from the X-Men with the ability to time travel. Now whilst his temporal powers sound like a really cool thing to have, with them come several consequences, and after every jump through time, Five creates an alternate reality that tends to lead to the apocalypse. In addition to this, due to his inability to fully control his chronokinesis, rather than moving through time, time moved through Five, and thus he ended up becoming trapped in his younger body, which he's remained in since jumping to 2019. Now in the comics, Five doesn't age at all, and he remains stuck in his 10 year old body, and just doesn't grow. In the graphic novel, it's revealed that because he was their greatest assassin, the Temps actually experimented on him and made it so that he wouldn't age. This is why when he goes back to his younger self, he just doesn't grow up. However, I think due to Aiden Gallagher aging more and more as the seasons go on, the show will have him growing up once more and aging as normal with him essentially just restarting his life. In my opinion, this is why the experimentation hasn't been mentioned in the show, but let me know below if you disagree. Now in addition to this, the Temps also took every major killer in history, placed their DNA into Five, and this is why he never feels any remorse or guilt over his killings. That's pretty much the lowdown on the character, and though he's the longest living of the Hargreaves siblings, we still don't know that much about him. When Five was young, he was quite arrogant with his powers, and he ignored the warnings of his father who instructed him not to jump through time until he knew what he was doing. When testing his abilities, Five found that he could jump ahead, and he pushed this to the limit by making several leaps. However, the character jumped too far ahead, and found himself caught on the other side of the apocalypse. Five was unable to jump back, and thus became stuck there, wandering the wasteland for decades. Now, with the comics comes several caveats, and because Five did not grow up with the rest of the Academy, he did not eventually leave them and form his own identity. Thus, whilst the other members of the group shed their numbers in favour of their actual names, Five became stuck with his, and therefore still dons the moniker number five. Though we know what happened to him, to the other members of the group, Five appeared as a missing person, and he could be seen as instrumental in the rest of the family deciding to leave the academy. This is because, upon his disappearance, Sir Reginald actually remarked that his absence was no great loss, and thus the academy likely saw themselves in the same light. They slowly moved out of their childhood home and onto bigger and better things, whilst Five became lost to time. Five returned and explained that he'd managed to travel back in time, however, Vanya did not believe him, and instead thought that time travel had just messed with his mind. Initially, no one took his word until the Temps Commission arrived, and through this we learned the truth about what really happened to him. It turns out that Five spent the majority of his life wandering the wasteland of Armageddon, and at this point he came across a mannequin named Dolores whom the character fell in love with. 
let's be honest, we've all woken up to worse and slowly this sent him slightly insane. Five even treated Dolores like she was a real person and became overly protective of her. Upon joining the temps, he left Dolores behind, but he did visit her in a department store saying his goodbyes and also telling a worker to pick something nice for her to wear. I I'm not crying, you're crying. Now as we've mentioned, Five was recruited by the temps and he was offered the deal of working for them for five years in exchange for being able to retire to a time that his heart desired. Quickly he rose through the ranks and became one of their best assassins, completing job after job with these due to his abilities to appear and seemingly disappear at random. We learn that Five actually killed Lila's parents and under the direction of the handler he was chosen to assassinate JFK. It's at this time that he learned of the apocalypse and decided to attempt to avert it in order to save his family. Now a lot of people have wondered why Five actually did this, especially because he hadn't seen his family for years and due to his personality he was pretty much a sociopath. Well this is actually hinted at in the comics. Now this is a big spoiler for Five's origins so if you don't want to know anything then I suggest you pause the video and travel 30 seconds into the future in order to miss out this big spoiler. Are you still here? Good. That means you haven't ruined the timeline and you get to learn the secrets. So in the comics it's revealed by Carmichael that Five's mother actually gave birth to twins. Now though that might be a big shock to you and it could potentially leave room for an evil version of Five down the line, we learn that Five's twin is actually just Luther. I'll give my thoughts on how this might be changed in the show later but that's an important thing to bear in mind. Now upon returning to 2019, they tried to trace back the source of Doomsday and after an investigation, they discovered the root of the problem, Vonya. She was the one responsible for ruining the world and though the academy initially tried to lock her away, they realised that what they actually needed to do was shower her with kindness and love. Aww. The group showed up to calm her down but she ended up going full supervillain and this destroyed the moon and sent an asteroid hurtling towards the planet. Alison was able to sedate Vonya and Five with his family travelled back to the 60s. Unfortunately, due to still not having proper control of his powers, the family were dropped at several points throughout the decade and Five himself was transported to 1963. Here he discovered that there was another apocalypse once more caused by Vonya. It's revealed that the FBI had taken her in for questioning after believing she was a Russian spy and during torture she went into full overdrive. Triggered by her memories of her childhood, she set off a blast at their headquarters and this destroyed a large section of it. This just so happened to take place as JFK's motorcade was passing and thus he suspected that the Russians had committed a terrorist act and declared war on the country. Hazel arrived to help Five avert this and together the two travelled back to a time before the apocalypse. Unfortunately, Hazel was killed by the Swedes but Five was able to unite his family. It's at this point that he was approached by the handler who gave him the time and place of a meeting between the board of the Temps Commission. In exchange for killing them, the handler promised to avert the apocalypse and give them a temp briefcase which would allow them to return back to 2019. Thus, Five carried out the mission, however, the handler tricked him and only gave the character 90 minutes to unite his family and return back to the tents. Five realised that there was a version of himself in the past that too possessed a briefcase and thus he went and met him. This was the Five that we actually saw back in Season 1, just before he jumped across time and space. Five said that he would give him the correct calculations to remain in his older body in exchange for the briefcase and the two made a deal. However, both as paranoid as the other, they ended up fighting and the younger Five jumped through the portal which also destroyed the briefcase. Now, though we don't know what happened to him, this created another alternate timeline in which there was a version of the first season that had an older Five rather than the one stuck in his younger body. Now at the end of the season, Five and Co not only stopped the Temps Commission but also Vanya from wrecking havoc on the planet. Five and the Umbrella Academy are almost killed by the Handler but Five remembers advice given to him by Reginald. This was to travel back in minutes rather than decades and he managed to go back to before her arrival and stop her dead in her tracks. I'm not sure if this creates an alternate timeline too, but if it does then that means that there's a universe where the Hargreaves were all killed at this point and season 3 was cancelled. Now after the new director of the temps, Herb arrives, he says he can stop the apocalypse in the future and gives them a briefcase to return to 2019. Now though they keep their end of the bargain, it becomes a situation of be careful what you wish for 
As upon travelling back to 2019, they find that Reginald selected other children to be part of the Academy and this is shown in the Sparrow Academy. Now we've already done a full breakdown of the members of this group which you should definitely check out if you want to know more. They're basically the same as the current Academy power wise and as an opposite to Luther, Allison and pretty much every member has someone in this group that's the same. Because of this, I actually think that this box dude might be Five's opposite and it is possible, just in the way that Five was able to jump through time, that this character was able to jump through dimensions. If he was, then it would make sense that there would exist a realm in which everyone was a cube and this character may have ended up trapped in this form upon attempting to jump back, similar to how Five became trapped in his younger body. Either that or Ori went so far ahead in the future that humans had transferred their consciousness to boxes because let's face it, be there or be square. The show might also do a change up and he may be the big twist that we talked about earlier in the video that I can't ruin here just in case you're one of those people that time travelled ahead. You know what I'm talking about anyway if you did watch that bit and yeah let me know below. Anyway, there's definitely a lot that could be taken from this cube guy and I can't wait to see what interactions he and Five have in the future. Anyway, that's everything you need to know about Five and the 101 and the character. Obviously, I'd of course love to hear your thoughts on Five and if you agree with my theories or have any of your own. Make sure you comment below and let me know and if you want something else to watch after this then check out our breakdown of Sir Reginald Hargreaves which is going to be linked at the end. We go over the big bad dad of the Umbrella Academy including his origins and powers so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to have a good time. Now don't forget every month on the 15th we give away free Blu-rays and all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning the MCU Infinity Saga box set is leave a like and subscribe with notifications on. If you want to support the channel and get to see content early, then please consider clicking the join button below. You can also come chat to us on our Discord server linked in the description or heavy spoilers on Twitter. Thanks for making it until the end of the video, you've been the best, I've been Definition, I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.